So either you can get out the car right now, or I'm headed back to my wife. Yes, I'm in the car, and you're headed back to um, the destination where they pick me up. I'm not going to that destination. I'm going home. Miss Sam? Huh? Yeah. Okay, and it looks like you're... Okay, I did not know that you were going to Fort Carson, but I can't get on Fort Carson. Okay. You can just drop me and get one. Someone could pick me up from there. Okay. Everybody stop. Real talk. You just heard me tell her I can't get on Fort Carson. And you heard her ask me to drop her off at the gate. Not have lunch with her. Not sit around and babysit her. Let's run that back. Okay, I... Did not know that you were going to Fort Carson, but I can't get on Fort Carson. Okay. You can just drop me and get one. Someone could pick me up from there. Okay. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Apparently, Uncle Sam holds a grudge. <laughs> yeah. So you can't get on that phone? Can't get on that phone. He was in the army? Uh, no, ma'am. I got into a lot of trouble as a kid. and. Oh. And 41 minutes later. But you're still here. <laughs> I'll be I'll be sitting here for free. <laughs> Real talk. You're still in the car. I can't in the in the ride till you're technically out the car. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Did she really just say that? She, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I did not know that you were going to Fort Carson, but I can't get on Fort Carson. Okay, you can just drop me and get one. Someone could pick me up from there. Okay. So I have to wait for the person. I have to wait for the person to come. Okay, so I'm getting ready to head back to Pueblo. Yeah, I know that, but I, it's not. Honestly, it's not my fault. I, I know person, it's not your fault. Yeah, so and I do apologize. I can't get on I the car do and apologize. Stand up and wait. That you're going to be heading back to Pueblo. 
because that's wrong. As soon as I swipe this, I'm headed back to Pueblo. Well, honestly, like I said to you, I said the person is coming. I can't All get right. out the car and just stand up right here and wait. Trip's over. You actually you have seven minutes left to the right for the right That's to end. That's not how this works. Yes, it said seven minutes. You it said you have seven minutes to get to your destination. This is not your the destination. destination is seven okay. minutes away. So you could wait the seven minutes. No, okay. you could no. wait the seven minutes until then I'm, you end the ride. I'm headed back to Pueblo. Sir, you could wait I'm the headed seven back to minutes. Pueblo? No, like I said. Listen, I'm headed back to Pueblo. Okay, so you want to stay in the car? You know what? Do you want to? You want to get? Call the police. Either way, I'm headed back to Pueblo. I got it all on dash cam right right here. I asked you to get out the car several hey, times. You, you she gonna call the police and tell them she refused to get the fuck out of my car. You can't end the ride. Okay. I already ended the ride. Okay, all right. This is my car. How you gonna tell me I can't end the ride? He said I can't end the ride. And the ride was over already. <laughs> You're not allowed. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I own this vehicle. So do you want to get out here or do you want me to keep going? Because you're getting Hello. further and further away. Sir, I'm in an Uber, so the Uber could go um, um, for Carson Base. Mm -hmm. So I told the person that the person, someone would pick me up at gate one. This is your last chance to get out the car. Someone would pick me up at gate one, right? Your last chance. So once I get to gate one, the person was on their way coming. All the right. driver ended the ride and had me in the car. And, and she won't get ride. out and we're headed back to Pueblo. Are you sure you don't want to get out here? Because I can't just sit and wait for you all day. I do apologize. Hey, sorry, you had seven minutes because the ride That's seven to minutes to the destination. Yes, a destination so that I cannot get to. Like, it would have been minutes seven minutes, minutes all day. Now, she said I had seven minutes. A couple questions, fam. One, what in the hell does that mean? You got seven minutes. Am I obligated to do whatever she wants? Park the car here while I'm running and rob this bank? Or what, what does that even mean? You got seven minutes. No matter how long we stayed there, it was going to be seven minutes because the destination was seven minutes away. So I could not just sit there for you. I, I apologize. Said, I I'm going to give you one more chance to get off at this next exit. And if you want to get out, you're more than welcome. But I have to go home. My wife, I found out my wife has cancer yesterday and I have to get back. For disappointment. No, Listen, I do not care about you. I do not care about your feelings. So either you can get out the car right now, or I'm headed back to my wife. Yes, I'm in the car and they're headed back to um, the destination where they pick me up. I'm not going to that destination. I'm going home. Which um, I told them the person was on their way because I took when I got into the car, they said, "Oh, they can't go." To they accepted the ride, but when they got to my house, they said, "Oh, they can't go where I want to go." So I said. So I said, this okay, is your last okay, chance. Said, you want out? Nice. I said, okay, I'll let someone pick me up. And then you didn't get out the car. I'll let don't understand this. You're telling me you want to get out the car, but you're throwing a freaking tantrum tantrum like a freaking two-year-old. In real talk, you deserve to be treated that way. You deserve that. Someone pick me up. So I texted the person. I said, okay. This is going to be your last minutes, chance. Seriously. They're 10 minutes away. So the person said, okay, they're on their way. We got there a minute, two minutes. We waited. We was there for like not even two minutes. This is going to be like, your oh, last chance. You're still arguing about that. I was sitting there get for up. five minutes. No, I got it all on cam. It's not up for debate. It's, not, it's my, it's it's my not car. The ride's minutes. over. It's my car. The ride is over. It's not up for debate. I got it all on film yes. right here. You don't get to tell other people what to do with your, your property. I That's am. not how this works. So are we headed to Pueblo or are you getting out? All right. That was the fourth chance I gave you. Hello? Yes, sir. Well, I'm close to Fort Carson. He drove away, sir. He's, I'm with I gave her car. five chances to get out the car. Would you like to get out here? He's trying to let me out on the roadside. Wherever you want to get out, but I'm, I'm not on the clock. This is my car, my time. You can't just tell me where to go. So do you want to get out at this next exit? Because I'm done with you. Real talk. He's, he's offering to drop me off at the roadside. <laughs> yeah. Should have got out at the destination.
Academy Boulevard. Yes. So do you want to? So do you want to get out here? Get out here. I'm not gonna ask you again. I'm gonna keep going. Real talk. Real talk. I can take you over here to that little store if you want me to. Sure. Well, there you go. Cause either way, I'm gone. get out my car <laughs> do you right here right there wherever you will get out the car because I get out the car because I, I am leaving I've said that multiple times you're not listening and you think just sitting there is gonna get you your way it's not you're gonna be on the highway headed back to Pueblo and I'm not playing about that this is your last chance to get out my car I'm not on the clock I do not work for you you do not own me you do not own this vehicle I am going through something very serious right now. I don't got time to play with you. Real talk. My wife got cancer. I do not got time to play with you. Nobody I have to go. You. you are playing with me. You're playing with my time I right now. You're two, playing with my time got, right now. Seven minutes. You got, you got money are you going to get out the car? To a, to a destination. You didn't go to the destination. Are, are you gonna she said she paid me to go to a destination and I didn't take her to the destination. Cue the replay. Uh, Miss Sam? Yeah. Okay, and it looks like you. Okay, I did not know that you were going to Fort Carson, but I can't get on Fort Carson. Okay, you can just drop me and get one. Someone could pick me up from there. Okay, get out the car. Didn't go to the Are you gonna get out the yeah, car? Yeah, I'm getting out your car. Goodbye. Have a nice day, ma'am. No, it's not a Walmart, sir. It is a um, Safeway. Okay, you're not getting out. <laughs> Real talk. I'm it leaving. Is a Safeway. If you don't believe me. I'm getting out your. Well, yes, get, open man. the door and get out. I what in you better grab it because I am leaving. I see you trying to slow roll. I'm not I can to slow, slow roll, roll too. I'm, not trying to slow I'm roll. leaving. I'm you don't believe me. I'm trying to open the car door to get out of the car. You're not. He's driving off. You're yes, talking on the I'm phone. Yes, because I'm talking. I got to it on cam. I don't okay, give a fuck I'm who you're talking too. to. I don't give a fuck who you're talking to. Get out my car. Get out my car. I am trying to get out your car. How? how this you, is your you last. This is your last chance. This is your last. The car is fully stopped. Okay. So stop the car. The car is fully stopped. Get out. Could you open the back? It's open. Okay. All you got to do is go. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, yes, I do have the license plate number. Did she just ask what my license plate was? She did. What no. is my license plate? She said she had it. <laughs> Fam, this is gonna sound stupid, but real talk, this is a situation in which people feel like they can intimidate you. They feel like, oh, you're not gonna do what I say, I'm gonna call these important white people and they're gonna make you do what I tell you to do. This is my car, this is my time, and this is my life. Real talk, what she just did here was a threat. Think about it. Okay. Real talk. 99.9% .9 of my Uber rides go great. I love you guys, and I love driving for Uber. But every once in a while, you get a ride like this. Somebody who feels entitled, who feels like you owe them the world, and you're just supposed to sit around and wait for them. And that's how you get dropped off two, two and a half miles away from your fucking destination. Hey, I'm about to take your stuff and dump it on the sidewalk. You might want to grab it. Fucking with the wrong Uber driver. Fucking bitch. And sometimes you got to put your foot down and let people know you ain't going to take that shit. You don't have to take that shit. You are a person. You're a person. I'm a person.
I just ain't got to take that. All right, so this is going to conclude this broadcast, but let me know. What do you guys think? Was I too hasty? Did I not give her enough time? Should I have sat there and babysat her for a couple hours? Drop it in the comments. Let me know. As always, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Share the video with your closest buddy or somebody who likes content like this. And until next time, let's get it.